biology. So very much welcome there to this class. Well, today I want us to discuss about proteins, then we go into enzymes. So what are proteins? So proteins, these are compounds mainly made up of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen, whereby some proteins may also have uh, nitrogen, phosphorus or even sulfur. So for hemoglobin, it's also a protein compound. So protein is made up of amino acids, whereby we have 20 different types of amino acids. So all amino acids contain an amino group, which is NH2, you close the bracket. Uh, which is a radical whereby we have nitrogen and hydrogen in this uh, radical. So two amino acids may combine giving a dipeptide molecule like for the carbohydrates. So the bond in amino acid is called a peptide bond whereby we see that many amino acids may combine to give a long protein chain which is called a dipeptide chain. So what are the properties of proteins? So first of all, they dissolve in water giving colloidal solutions whereby we see that this is not a true solution because when you shake the solution, you will find out that some particles are in the solution. So proteins are denatured by temperatures above 40 degrees Celsius whereby we also see that high pH may also denature proteins. So the other uh, property we may say that proteins are also amphoteric in nature. So what are the functions of the protein? So the first function of the protein, we are going to look at structural functions whereby they make the framework of living tissues. Example, we have the connective tissue, we have the muscle fibers, we have the cell membrane, we have the hairs, we have the nails, etc. They are very much, uh, they are very many. So the next one, let's look at their metabolic regulators. For this example, we have enzymes and we have hormones then uh, finally we have as energy source whereby under extreme starvation proteins will be used to give energy to the organism so let's meet on the next class as we discuss more about enzymes biology